Hey guys, welcome to the channel. We are ready to roll out the firmware update for the Dynaflip's Pontus 2 DAC or the older generation Pontus with the module DSP module updated sometime in year 2019 or 2020. We have been working very hard for this firmware update project, but I think it is very encouraging and very rewarding to hear some of the comments from the customer where the firmware update did improve the sound quality of the system. That's the most important part of this firmware update. We want to reward our customer with our latest 12th anniversary firmware update and you can do it at free of cost. There's no cost to you for this firmware update. But there's a small risk involved that you may break the deck where that's when the cost come in that you need to send the deck back to us and cover both ways shipping fee and we'll fix the deck updated it with the latest firmware and send it back to you. All you need to do is to cover the shipping fee both ways as well as the import fee if there's any. But I think the risk involved is kind of relatively low. So far, there are only a handful of customers failed to update the firmware and render the, the deck not functioning anymore. It's less than 0.1%. It's pretty amazing and I think it's a pretty successful one where we, we will actually anticipate this number to be a little bit higher. But we do it very carefully. We spend all our resources or most of our resources in doing this project to support the customer. So rolling out the firmware in stages is also one of the reasons why we are doing this to minimize the disruption or the mistake we may make or the customer may make. For example, if you send us the photo of the DSP module and tell us that this is an Aries 2 or you choose the wrong one and we send you the we send the wrong firmware update tool to you and you use the wrong firmware update tool to update the wrong deck or the wrong DSC chips, it will break the deck. So rolling out in stages give us an idea how to manage it better. Okay. We are ready to roll out the firmware for the Pontus 2 deck and this video is going to be a short one to show you how to take a photo of this DSP chip or the FPGA chip in this deck. Uh, we also get asked quite often, why is it there's a need to take a photo of the FPGA chip? The FPGA chip is different uh, from one model or from production batch to another production batch. There are different firmware update tools for the different deck. This is a Pontus. If you have a Venus, there's another firmware update tool for Venus. But for the very Pontus deck that you see here, there may be differences in the FPGA chip used in this Pontus deck. To do it carefully and successfully, we need you to open the top cover, take a photo of the FPGA chips, preferably high resolution, so that we can tell the FPGA chip model, send it to us, and we will supply the correct firmware update tool to you. Once the update is completed, you're all set to go. That was really why we needed you to send the, firm, the FPGA chip used in the deck. I know it's a bit of hassle to remove it from the hi-fi rack, to have the cables disconnected, to needing to pop the top cover open and take a photo and send it to, back to us, but please understand this is necessary. These small little steps that you take may potentially improve the sound quality after the firmware update. I think uh, the sound improvement is all we are concerned about. It's all this firmware update all about. And I think the firmware update or sound quality improvement out, outrun all the research or the hassle involved in this project. Okay, all you need to have is a 2.5 mm Allen key like this. Loosen a couple of screws at the back of the deck and you'll be able to pop this top cover open. I'm going to shift the deck 180 degree to show you how it looks like at the back. This Allen key here is the tool that all, all the tool that you need, a 2.5 mm Allen key to loosen two of the screw at the back. I'm sorry, I got to bend my head like this, like that, so that I can see the screws. I'm also uploading the photo of this um, uh, removing of the two screws so that you just in case the video was not well taken, you, you can look at the photo. So first one is removed, the second one is right over here. After loosening two screw and we'll be able to pop the top cover open. Put the two screws safely aside, you're going to leave it later and we'll be able to pop this top cover open just like that. This is a 
chunky piece of aluminium top cover anodized in silver so in case you have a black one it will be in black of course okay i'm gonna have this foam protecting my tabletop as well as protecting the deck i'm gonna flip it around to show you the dsp module right okay, the foam on the table and this is the pontus deck how the pontus tool deck look internally it's pretty nice looking and uh the components are well populated it's a well thought out design this my faithful pointer this is the dsp module that is doing most of the job for the deck the digital signal processing nos os filter slow filter fast filter and stuff like that is all happening in this fpga chip identify this chip take a high resolution photo tell us which dsc you are using and submit the form using the form online and we will analyze and process this and provide the firmware update tool to you and the firmware update is pretty straightforward we have been improving the firmware update guide as we receive feedback from the customer and i think the guide is pretty comprehensive and pretty clear and straightforward right now and most of the customer with good computer knowledge should be able to do it you ask what if you really cannot do the firmware update yourself can we help you one way or another this particular dsp module is user replaceable we will roll out the dsp module upgrade for the customer who wish to purchase the dsp module with the latest firmware install in the dsp all you need to do is to purchase the dsp module on our website we'll install the latest firmware in this dsp module i have another piece here We'll install the latest firmware update in this DSP module and we'll send it to you. All you need to do, very similar, pop the top cover open, remove this existing FPGA or the DSP module in this deck, replace it with a new one and you're all set to go with the latest firmware running in your deck. So this is just in case you do not have the ability to update the firmware using a computer this is another solution that we offer to all our existing customer. The procedure of taking out the top cover, identifying the FPGA chip applies to Pontus deck, Venus deck, as well as Terminator deck. So I'm not going to take another video to show you how to remove the top cover of the Venus Terminator or the Terminator Plus deck. But I think this video is good enough to cover the needs or guiding you how to remove the top cover and take a photo of this FPGA chips and send it back to us and we'll provide you the correct firmware update too or we like to use short form in Singapore we call it FUT okay feel free to download the firmware update or feel free to submit a form to us we'll get back to you as soon as possible if you find my video interesting or if you find my channel interesting do subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time bye bye